Everybody, Chris here. Welcome for a special Thursday edition of Chris Packs Live. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I just had to come on. Dogecoin, 22 and a half cents. It just keeps going up, 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 up. We are in a bull run for Dogecoin. I mean, Bitcoin is still $70,000 a Bitcoin, but Bitcoin's going sideways at 70K. Doge going up. And the biggest thing that has happened is the Dogecoin Bitcoin pair, which I was going to put in my video earlier today, and I missed that one, was is over 000003. That yellow line that we have been following for so long. I go back to the daily on this. And we zoom back, 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 back which we haven't seen since uh, almost a year ago. April of 2023 was the last time the Doge Bitcoin trading pair was up at this level, except for when we just touched it here a couple weeks ago. But this is what we were looking for, and Doge has done it. But overall, I mean, it's just a beautiful chart. <laughs> it's just a beautiful chart on the daily Dogecoin still going up. So we're going to start there. And one other thing just to show, because when I made my video just a few hours ago, Dogecoin was the eighth largest cryptocurrency. It has just passed USDC. Dogecoin is now number seven. Number seven with XRP in its sights. And as I said in my video earlier today, if Doge gets up to about 23.6 cents, maybe 23.7, if XRP stays where it is, Dogecoin will then be up to number six. So this is a Dogecoin led charge. 
is what this is, the Dogecoin led charge that's happening. There are other memes that are running and we'll take a look at those, but this is really all about Dogecoin. If we look in the 24 hours, Dogecoin is up 22%. SHIB 6.9, which we've talked about in the video earlier today, that SHIB does tend to run when Doge does, but never at quite the same percentage. I mean, Bitcoin is up 3% over 24 hours, and you'd think, woohoo, yay, Bitcoin, 3%. <laughs> That's nothing. Doge, up 22%. Now up almost 50% for the week, Dogecoin continues to go up. And when it does a little retrace, which it just did in the past couple minutes, it just turns around and it comes right back. And that's how Dogecoin has been trading as we zoom back and back and back. Since that double bottom at 17 and a half that we had there, that was just two days ago. That was just two days ago. We had the double bottom at 17 and a half cents. And look what Doge has done since then. A lot of excitement. We'll get into the reasons why. Again, I, I hate to repeat myself a lot, but it's the same story that's continuing to grow. And the price of Dogecoin is responding because people aren't selling their Dogecoin. They're not selling. It's buy, 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 buy. That's what we've got. So this is exciting. I thought we'd be lucky to be over 20 cents by the end of March and we just blew past it. Could we come back and retest? Always, right? That can always happen. Profit taking, shorting, things like that, but we do have big short squeeze going on in that on the liquidation chart, we see over the past 24 hours, Dogecoin, $18 million, $18 million liquidated of people betting against Dogecoin. That's the number two amount after, of course, Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin's always getting leveraged longs and shorts liquidated because big money betting on or against Bitcoin, maintaining 70K and Bitcoin's like, nah, we're just getting started too. But Doge now with big, big shorters just getting liquidated. So I don't know. I always say don't bet on leverage either because you don't know. I mean, in the past you know, half an hour, if somebody said, I'm going to bet on Dogecoin continuing to go up and I'm going to open a leverage trade here and I'll have 22 cents as a stop loss, you could see that in the next 10 minutes. It may drop down to 22 and liquidate those longs that are just being created. That could happen. So I'm like, I don't touch that. DCA, buy and hold. Dogecoin continues to go up. We may settle at some point in time, but it isn't yet. Look at the four hour chart here. It has been just a run up from 12 and a half cents. In a week, 50% gain right there in a week. So that's pretty great. Now we just have to see whether we can maintain that, we can hold that. So I'm here to share with you guys what's going on with Doge. We'll talk. We'll touch on a couple other things, but all eyes on Doge right now. So let me drop down here in the corner and let's see what is going on with you guys in the chat. Yes, Damari, a bonus stream, not usually here on a Thursday, but I mean, with this run and Doge here, just had to come on and share it with you guys. So here I am.
Thursday stream running? Yep, what? We are here. Zena says Doge to 26 cents. We will see if this run continues or whether we're going to have a little retrace. The Doge signal lit up and summoned Chris to come on a Thursday. Yes. <laughs> here we go. Blast off. Nate with the bull emoji. Bulls on parade. Teodoro, how you you? Connor to the moon. Mars also agrees. Moon time. Hey, Joe. Welcome. Yep. We're doing the bulls. Uh, from Cincinnati. Oh, you're in Cincinnati. Cool. I'm in Boston. You're Reds Nation. I hope your, your baseball team is probably better than ours this year. Red Sox are not forecast to do very well this year. But it's opening day, new baseball season. You never know, right? That's why you play the games, because you never know. Portfolio's looking great. You're right, Ryan. I mean, look at uh, Chris Beck's DCA portfolio now up to 32.5. Dogecoin is now over 52% of the overall portfolio because Doge is outperforming everything else now. We're going on this run. So, yeah, that's that's cool for the portfolio. Everybody's portfolios, if you've got Doge in it, your portfolios are looking good. Yep, Josh had to come on to the moon for Sweetheart Vlogs. You're the best when it comes to Doge, Chris. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a good day to be a dozer. It is. These are the days we celebrate, and we've had a lot of them for the past week. And it continues. So that's all good. Not quite 30 cents, Charles. I got to get up to about, well, 33 maybe to have a million dollars worth. That's not a million profit. That's just because of because. That's just the total value of my Doge will be that. And then, yeah, 35, again, is still a line that I'm looking at. Possibly Doge trades above it, making maybe starting to take a little bit of profit, but it might be too soon for that. So DM, how are you? Go doggy. Yes, yes. Uh, call me crazy. I swapped all my ETH for Doge last night. Nice, Joe. Good timing for the pump. For the pump. The SEC thing on ETH, kind of scary. Yeah, um, they may be going after ETH big time. ETH Foundation won't approve the ETH spot ETFs. That could all be happening for ETH. I don't think that will really cause ETH to pull back by a big amount, but for a little amount, yeah, it could. Either way, that was good timing before the little doge pump there. That's for sure. Uh, Volks, let's go. How high you think we can go this run? Oh, I mean, right now it looks like we're taking a breather at 22.1. So see if we can turn this around and Get back up to 23 cents on this current run. What's Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin's hanging out at 70K. Can't get back above 71. So Bitcoin hanging. ETH at 35.5 hanging. So nothing else is pumping for the most part. Look at crypto bubbles. What do we got? Well, you know, look at the big bubbles, Doge, right? But we got Whiff. We got Floki, we've got Bonk are all moving up. And of course, still uh, Singularity and Fetch because of that AI thing, along with the Ocean Protocol, which is in the second 100 tier. We look at that and there's Ocean. But we got to some other memes that are moving like this Brett coin. If you guys know anything about Brett, it's moving. Bone is now in the top 200. It's up to 130 for Book of Meme. So we got those moving. So that's just kind of some of what is going on. 
overall in crypto uh, moving. And then, uh, you know, Shiba up five, Bitcoin Cash is up, and Litecoin, I don't even know where Litecoin was on this, but Litecoin, again, because of the futures trading, it's going to start next Monday for Doge, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Litecoin just doesn't really trade that well. The Doge and Bitcoin Cash are moving, but Doge much more just because it has all of this other stuff going for it. So that is great for Doge. Joe says, this, my friends, is why we've been holding. For those that were taking profits at 18 cents or doing a swing trade, thinking that it was going to drop back down to 16 cents, 15 cents, and you buy back in at a lower price, this is why you don't do that. Because you don't know when it's going to keep going. You don't know. Rocky says, I want to put 20,000 on Doge if it comes back to 17. Uh, you could be waiting a while. It might not see 17 again. You've got to be careful with that. I will do my April predictions video over the weekend. Can't do it now. There's too much volatility, too much going on. Got to see where we where we stand, you know, at the end of March before I do my April prediction. Folks says I'm going to sell all my ETH also. I got over a million Doge already, 150,000 worth of ETH sinking and selling too. We don't know how that ETH thing is going to play out. So, yeah, Ron, the shorters, shorting their pants. <laughs> yep. Nice Doge bowl. Nice portfolio. It's nice to see the portfolio going up. And the more you have in the portfolio, the faster it goes up, too. That's sweet. That is sweet. Oh, Volks, you're here in Boston, too. Cool. You watch that, the Red Sox tonight? Opening game? Where did I stay in Italy? Uh, Rome and Florence, and then took some side trips uh, from Florence out to San Gimignano, Siena, and Pisa. But we were based in Florence for all that whole Tuscany thing. That was fun. Great trip. Great, great trip. AJ says, Boston traffic doesn't seem so bad today. Um, yeah, that's because of the rain more than anything else, I think. Uh, bonus stream on a Thursday. That's what I'm here. See if we can hold 22 cents, guys. See if we can hold that. Let me come back into the 15 minute chart. But yeah, I came on because this just kept coming up and I was just like, I got to share this with you guys. I've got to share. Daniel says, uh, I follow you for two years ago. Thank you. And thanks for being here. DJ Meat holding million doge at 10 cents, sold all at 20. Hopefully there's an opportunity to buy back in again soon. That is, that's always a challenge. And for the rest of you, you don't have to sell at all. We'll talk about taking profits and it's not, an all or nothing deal. You sell part of it, right? You layer. We're going to talk about layering out. And uh, and if you're swing trading, um, you just got to be careful, especially with Doge, because you you just you don't know if it's going to fall back or not. Not with the buying pressure that we've been seeing on on Doge. For the past week, it's just been up. I mean, look at this, guys. It's just been up for a week. We had one little pullback here on Friday when we couldn't get above 16 and a half cents and dropped down and hit 15, just touched 14 and a half. And then it's been up since then. You know, I don't really want a Lambo. 
I don't know about you, but I don't really want a Lambo. <laughs> but it's fun to say when Lambo. Yeah. No. 35 cents this week. Um, I think that's a bit ambitious. I think that's a bit ambitious. Not this week. We'll talk about 35 cents. Not this week. Uh, I really think Doge can be number two. Do you think NFTs are just a waste of time? Does it hurt ETH development? Um, I'm not an NFT guy. There's a lot of people, other people who talk a lot about NFTs. Uh, I'm not the guy. I think that's risky. It's still way early in the whole NFT game and what they're going to be. I, mean, I don't even like the art, the NFT art for the most part. It just to me, it just doesn't do anything. So. I never got into it. Um, we know that on the Dogecoin blockchain, the Dogenals, you know, and those NFTs kind of clogged up the blockchain. So not a fan of that. Um, where NFTs are, are going to be, uh, what are they going to be built on in the future? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just don't follow the NFT game that much. So could Dogecoin become the number two cryptocurrency? Uh, always a chance. I mean, that's ETH at 427 a billion dollar market cap. Um, I mean, that's huge. Uh, I, I've always talked about Doge being number three. Uh, that makes sense to me. So right now, Tether is at 104 billion. And Dogecoin is at 31. So let's say Doge would get back up to its previous all time high. And we can see that. But too early to talk about that right now. Too early to talk about that. But Dogecoin is number seven now. It has moved up above USDC to number seven on coin market cap. And Dogecoin is not just a meme coin anymore. And more and more, what we're seeing are, uh, are quotes, articles, references to Doge and its actual use, its actual utility that everyone's talking about now. Well, not everyone. I guess there's still some Bitcoin maxis and others that still think Doge is a joke. Fine. You can believe that. But I'm I'm looking forward to continuing to watch the Dogecoin Bitcoin trading pair go up. And that's this. Dogecoin versus Bitcoin. Continue to move up. Right now we, we've just passed over the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 003 line, which was this yellow line. That was my target line for Doge. It's hit it. And we'll see if that continues going up. Again, Bitcoin kind of going a little sideways here at 70K. But still, you know, 70K is, that's really good for, for Bitcoin. But yet Doge is outperforming it this week by so much. So. Somebody wants Doge to dip, probably to buy some more, right? You have two and a half million Dogecoin. Would you wait to get to a dollar or would you sell before? I can only tell you what my plan is. Um, and I've got a little more Doge than you do. Um, I'm not waiting for Doge to hit a dollar before I begin taking some profits. Because uh, I did that last time, was convinced Dogecoin was going to a dollar in 2021. Didn't happen, held all the way through. I've since bought a lot more Doge, so I have a lot more uh, now than I did then. But I'm going to be layering out and taking some profits this time because I got some other plans that I want to do. And all my other cryptos I'm going to sell within the next 12 to 18 months. At still following this four-year cycle, the four-year cycles that we have in cryptocurrency 
Whether they continue to be four-year cycles, I don't know, but we've had three very consistent cycles around the Bitcoin halving and pump after the halving, and then going back into a bear market every four years. I'm not gonna be holding through another bear market. That doesn't guarantee that there's not gonna be another bear market because A lot are a lot are talking about you know this super cycle or just extended bull because of the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Bitcoin could just continue going up and not have a big retrace. You know, Bitcoin went from 69k all the way to 15. Now with all of this spot ETF, those people are holding. They're not selling. So if we see a bear market next time, it might not be, it might not be that great. Most altcoins went down like 90% for this last bear market. Ouch. And that may not happen again, but I'm still a believer of the four-year cycles because the four-year cycles have happened again and again and again. And here's my four-year cycle chart here from Rob at Digital Asset News. Bitcoin halving in 2012, hits an all-time high in 2013, and then 2014, we have a bear market. Reset year, Bitcoin halving, all-time high, bear market, reset year. 2020, Bitcoin halving, reaches an all-time high in 2021, 2022, bear market. We lived it, right? We, we just lived it. In 2022, Dogecoin went all the way down to 4.9 cents from its high of 74. That's a big drop. That was a big drop in just a little over 12 months, all the way down to 4.9 cents. 2023, was a reset year, was very good for Bitcoin, not great for a lot of altcoins until the last three months, really two and a half months. And now here we are in 2024. We have a Bitcoin halving, still coming up. Bitcoin's already hit an all-time high, new all-time high before the halving, that's never happened. And Doge continues to move up now, sort of delayed, but it's good to see now. That means 2025 is supposed to be the year of a new all-time high. And we've already hit it for Bitcoin in 2024. And that means 2026 would be the dip year. Again, going on these four-year cycles. So my plan is, except for my Bitcoin holding and most or some of my Doge holding that I will hold on to, I am selling all of my other cryptocurrencies, but I'm layering out. I'm not selling it all at once. I'm not saying, you know, for however many, you know, Cardano, you know, tokens I own, those ADA tokens, I'm not going to just sell them all at once because you don't know when the top is going to be. So when I see a pump coming up in, again, we're talking about late 24 into 25, then I'll layer out 10%, 20%, something like that at a time. Because you don't know if that pump is going to continue, if that's going to be the high, or whether it's going to go down. We don't know that. So I'm still following the four-year cycles because I think 2026 is still going to be a bear market. It may prove not to be, but I'm going to feel good with the gains I've taken and the profit I'm taking. And then I'll start buying back in late 26, early 27. That's my plan right now. We'll see what happens. But that's my plan right now. Big, day, big gains on Dogecoin though. Today, this week, big run up, 50% run in a week. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.
<laughs> Becoming a millionaire. Anyone can do it. It just, it takes determination. It takes time, just constant investing. I mean, you think about like all the investing most people do into stocks and you want like an eight to 10% return in a year. Uh, Doge is up 16% for the day. <laughs> That's a whole year in the stock world that Doge just did in one day. Now there are some stocks that do go on runs, yes. But this is like cryptocurrency and it has been on a run now for the past 15 months. When you could buy Bitcoin at 17K and you could get Dogecoin down at six cents. That's what we were doing is we were accumulating. Personally, I was buying as well a lot of cryptocurrency, not stocks. I did get some Tesla stock, but that's when it dropped all the way down to 110. I was like, this is, this is cheap Tesla stock. So I did get some Tesla stock, but the rest of it all went into cryptos. And we've talked about my portfolio and all the cryptos I have and what I'm looking for. One of them is Sheeb, which I bought at 10 and Sheeb is now up to 32. You just, you just, don't see that in stocks very much. Now, NVIDIA went on a big run. So there are some stocks that, yes, you can, but this like almost the whole crypto market is up hundreds of percent. You could buy almost anything except XRP <laughs> and be a good profit. XRP that I call the stable coin. Yep. Too early to be selling. That's what crypto for us says. And me, I'm not selling right now. I'm not, I'm not taking profits on anything right now. I did a few transfers from one coin to another. Some of them have worked out, some of them not so well yet. We'll see how that plays out. Connor says too many people that I know sold last night feeling bad for them right now. I'm not feeling bad for them. If they would just listen to me, they would have heard, don't be playing those silly games. Although they probably sold for profit, but they sold for profit down here, you know, under 20 cents. And now we're up at 22. So they missed out on that, but they probably sold for profit and there's nothing wrong with selling for profit. You made a profit. But the difference is, are you investing because um, you want to be wealthy, right? Do you really want to make a difference? Or do you just want to skim a few thousand dollars here and there to have a little extra pocket money? I think most of us are thinking bigger terms. Something that is going to really influence and change your life. And I did a video last summer about wealth building. And that's right when we were buying into this portfolio here. And I put $10,000 into this portfolio and it's, now it's at 32,000. Well, yeah, that's a gain of $22,500 of profit. $22,500 profit. That's not enough to really make a significant change in your life. Some change, yes but not significant change. So if Dogecoin doubles from here and goes to 44 cents, then we then this profit that we have on the Dogecoin is going to be a, a lot more. And plus all of these other coins are probably going to continue to go up too. Now, when you start talking about this portfolio at 60,000 and you've got 50, thousand dollars of profit now we're starting to talk about some serious money right that fifty thousand dollars of profit that's pretty good now imagine that and multiply that by 10. so instead of investing ten thousand dollars you actually invested a hundred thousand dollars and now 
you've got the potential of sitting at a $600,000 portfolio with $500,000 of profit. Now you're gonna have to pay some tax on that when you eventually sell. That's in the United States, that's what you have to do. But you're talking about money now that can significantly change your life. So that's what we're talking about. For those that just came in, we, we, we watched as uh, Dogecoin overtook USDC. Looks like USDC is now, yeah, Doge has retraced just a little bit here. So it's actually a little bit below, but Dogecoin moved up to seventh in market cap over USDC. I'm not gonna refresh this because it'll reset Doge back down. I don't wanna do that, I wanna keep it at over seven. Dogecoin, with its eyes set on XRP to take over number six. And again, that's Dogecoin getting up to about 23.6, 23.7 cents. Once it's there, Doge would be the number six cryptocurrency. So we'll watch that. And we're also going to watch if Dogecoin retraces back down, retest 22 cents here. Right now it's at 22.20. And it seems to be holding there. So we'll be watching that. Folks went to Italy 2017, loved it. Need to go back. Food, incredible. Absolutely. Great food, great wine, even the cheap table wine. It's just like, and it's cheaper than water. You pay more for water at a restaurant than you do wine. It's crazy. And the wine's so good. Yeah. All good. A lot of walking, especially Rome. Rome is such a big city, but we saw a lot. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. K sold, and usually would dip after a huge gain, but instead it broke out. And that's what we're seeing with Dogecoin. This run is that this run is not having the type of like straight up pump that then usually dumps. This is what I've been talking about, is the best kind of gains in Dogecoin if it's slow and steady. A slow and steady gain is better. If we go out to the daily chart here and we zoom back and we look at uh, this one back here, this is when Elon bought Twitter right there. And Dogecoin had been trading up at about six cents and it pumped all the way up to 15, 16 cents. That is too, that's too big. And it just got shorted and sold off right back down. Now, I mean, these are big candles, yes, but it's consistent. It's not just one candle, one day shooting straight up. So it's, it's sort of this consistent rise. This is a big day today. Yes. And we'll see if we'll see whether it holds 22 cents or not. But I was saying even when Doge was like on, on Saturday, right? When Doge turned around after hitting that 12 and a half, I was saying, this is a great looking chart, especially on the daily, that this looks like it's going to turn around and break out of my wedge. Now this was the wedge that I had. And I was like, yeah, this looks like that wedge isn't going to hold that Doge could break out of it earlier than waiting until April to, to do the wedge break, which is what I would usually expect with this kind of trading. But it was just looking too good. And of course, it broke out. So the wedge is no more. We're out of the wedge. Defined by me. I didn't want to stay in that wedge. I didn't want to stay there. Too many catalysts to sell. Now we'll go up a lot more. And Tiadaro, we're, I mean, this is all trading on what we think is going to happen with Dogecoin. And so the accumulation is happening for something that isn't going to happen for a number of months yet. So this is all anticipation. And people are not going to be selling, except for you that think you're going to like take a profit and 
swing trade it and then buy back in at a lower price. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Be careful about that. Ahmed's asking, what's the new support line? Is it 1880? Um, yeah, that's the blue line that I have here. Uh, so sure, uh, that blue line goes back to the fib here, which is the 0.786 fib. Um, but is it going to come down and retest that low? Not the way it's trading now. Not the way it's trading now. So I can't uh, right now, uh, because this is all still happening, it's too soon to really retest where the where the new support line is going to be because we're still going up. 22.4 and we're still this is still running. So I don't know. Again, that's where my blue line is right there at 18.8. Um, because your TA on your FIB retracement is going to point to that line. But this could just overtake all of that, just with the, the run continuing. It says, screw your FIB retracement. I'm just going to keep going up. <laughs> just going to keep going up. And for those waiting for 20, 22 cents, you're in the green now. Congratulations. And DCAing was always a good way to go. Instead of buying a bunch and then trying to swing trade to accumulate more because you might miss out. Yeah, how long is it going to be? Just jonesing asked. Well, how long is it going to be until Dogecoin gets back out in, in the media outside of our crypto bubble? You get celebrities talking about Doge, you get more. I mean, that was crazy in 2021 that like out of the woodwork, you had people like Gene Simmons, right, of Kiss, and you had Snoop Dogg, right, talking about Dogecoin that never cared about Dogecoin before. Which are going to be the celebrities that are going to come out this time for Dogecoin? We'll see. When that happens, then you know we're in the bull market. In inside our crypto bubble, we know we're in the bull market with this pump. But outside, that hasn't happened yet. I think you've got a lot more serious investors in Dogecoin this time because they saw what happened back in 2021 and maybe missed out on that whole thing. And they don't want to miss out this time. JD thinks there's going to be a top after the summer. We know that Doge can trade different than the four-year cycles. That's for sure. So something to look for. Again, that's like for those that are waiting for Dogecoin going to a dollar, we don't know if it's going to hit a dollar or not. And if you're not starting to layer out and take some profits when Doge is up at 60, 70, 80 cents, you might not get any profits. You don't know. So we'll be talking about that later on. Right now we're enjoying this run that's going on now. Flying to the moon. Hey, man, I'm an old Doge believer. I've been holding for three years. We're still buying 10 cents. I'm going to sell a bit at a dollar and slowly evacuate because it might hit $5. And true, that's why you don't sell everything. That's why you don't on one day say, OK, I'm just going to sell it all. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You sell it all, then you don't have any Doge. And if Doge just keeps going up, you're not in the game. Man asks, is there a way to get my eight-year-old son into these cryptocurrencies? He can't have his own account. I'm just looking for ways to help him get more secure. Yeah, so you just, you, you buy some. And then you transfer it into a wallet. And that wallet is for him, is what you do. 
whether it's an Exodus wallet or a trust wallet or something, but you set it aside for him in a separate wallet, but it's still you buying it. That's what you do. I mean, Elon Musk bought some in 2021 for little X, right? He said, I just bought some Doge for my son. But that's all you can do right now. In 10 years, he's on his own, but buying now and holding for him Yep. Doge is coming for USDC and XRP. So it did pass USDC earlier. Let's see where we are now. Um, a little bit behind. But it did pass it briefly up to number seven. But XRP is not that far away. Not far away. Uh, grumpy miners back. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, put you in a timeout. If you want to talk about Doge, be glad to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, do you believe how long it will take for Dogecoin to reach a dollar? I'm holding everything here. Doge to the moon. Thanks. So Super Jojo, I would say, again, we're going to be talking about this through the summer. I am going to be layering out. I am not waiting for Dogecoin to hit a dollar. I will not have all the Dogecoin I have today when and if Dogecoin hits a dollar. Because I did that last time. This time, I'm going to be taking some profits. And so we'll be talking about that later. Not, now is not the time to take it. I'm not selling at 22 cents. I believe Doge is going a lot higher than that. And you guys do too. I know it. So now is not the time to be sold. We have a long ways to go until X payments, Tesla, and who knows what else with Doge and Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin isn't stopping at 70K. No way. Not only do we have the Bitcoin halving coming up in a little over three weeks, but we've got, again, the whole markets in a, a US presidential election year are going to continue to go up, which is part of the four year cycles and how they work. So yeah, this isn't this isn't the time to be talking about like taking profits, in my opinion. Um JD's got 150,000 Dogecoin, need more? We all could have some more Dogecoin, that's for sure. One way to get Dogecoin is to join my channel. You come to my YouTube, whoops, I gotta get back. Don't wanna listen to that again. <laughs> that was this. You go to my channel and you hit join. I accidentally hit this live stream started to replay it. Uh, you can join my channel. You get a check mark next to your name. You get your name in green in the chat. You get to use these great emojis. We'll be adding more emojis. Just added the bowl emoji. That was the last one we added for those that were asking to be able to put bowls into the chat. And with that, you will also be getting some of this 75,000 Dogecoin that I'm going to be giving away at the top of the bull market to everyone who joins the channel. I appreciate the subscribers. If you haven't already, do subscribe. Like my sub count to keep going up. But if you want to not only help support the channel, but get some Dogecoin from me to you, think about joining the channel. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah, what crypto says here, uh, create an Exodus wallet for him, save a C phrase. That's right. It's an, it's an independent wallet and you just put the crypto in there, saving it for him. <laughs> Scared money don't make money. And you're talking about 
taking little bits of profits instead of the huge gains that could still be coming ahead. That's the big difference. Mike's in the building. Hey, Mike, how are you? Mario says we're back. The water with bubbles, you could order either way, still or, or with bubbles. Uh, we just drank wine <laughs> in Italy. This is, a, this is related to Italy. Duber's been holding since February, 2021. Nice. Yep, don't try timing the market, you'll never win. Hodl, keep buying. And then we'll talk about layering up. The Bob Ross, yeah. Thanks, Charles. Hey, iBeans bought in at 17 cents and you are in profit already. You're already in profit. So that's good. BTC to 100K and uh, Doge to a dollar in two months. Wow. You know, Dogecoin went on this huge run excuse me, April and May of 2021. It has the potential to do that again. We don't know. I'm kind of thinking we're in a stage now where it's going to be more slow and steady gains and not those huge, huge runs up. But then again, you go back to the daily chart and you're like, well, this looks, looks, <laughs> this looks like a big run right now that we're in on the daily chart. That's pretty good. Coleslaw says, so glad I don't try and swing trade this anymore. Yep, you don't want to F this up. That came for all Paul. Don't F it up. Yeah, when did I make that video? That was a couple, um, a few weeks ago, right? was the don't F it up video. When was that? That was a good video. That was a while ago. I don't even remember. Maybe it was a live stream. Maybe it was one of the live streams, which now is on a separate page. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the date. Oh, there it is right there. Three months ago. It was a live stream three months ago. Don't F it up right there. That's the one he's talking about. And what did I say during that live stream? What was the message there? It was, don't play games. Don't leverage, don't short, and don't try and swing trade or anything like that. Just uh, accumulate. And the gains will come. And that's what Raul Paul says too. Same thing. Don't mess it up. So that's what that live stream was about. Yep. And what was the price of Dogecoin three months ago? Was it 22 cents? It was... We were way down here at about seven cents. Well, that would have been, yeah, that would have been about uh, maybe eight cent Doge at the time. So Doge has tripled in price since then. And we're just getting started, just getting started. Thanks, Louis. Yep, insane, but Doge has done this before. This isn't new for Doge. We're still early, Charles agrees, yep. 
And we saw, Louise, what happened. Dose shot up to like 45. But I, I, I have it like at 42 and then down to 16. And then crazy up to some, yeah, just crazy trading. We could see that again. We don't know. We don't know. JD wants to, to, to pump it up. I, I haven't done any of my big uh, clips here, right? So we've got this one. <laughs> That's always a good one. And the Dogecoin guy. Dogecoin. Calling out Dogecoin. It's got a lot of great clips. Taking Dogecoin to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> So yeah, we should, yeah, a lot of good clips there. Got to play a few of those. Andy says, long-term holder, don't care about the price. I only care about the price now because I do a daily YouTube channel, right? I haven't bought Doge since back here in February, right there at 8.3 cents. February 21st, that was my last purchase of Doge. That was my March money that I spent back in February. And I told you guys I was doing that. That was my March money that I spent back in February because the chart to me was breaking out of this, we were breaking out of that wedge. And I was like, and on that dip, I said, I'm buying. And I bought about, I don't know, 80,000 Dogecoin right there. And that was, and I had already bought in February and I already spent all my February money. So that was like sort of borrowing money from March. Cause I always have some cash, right? In my account, cause you gotta have some cash right, in case something happens to your house, like your hot water heater blows or something, right? Cause you gotta live. Now, some of you probably live pretty stark means and you don't have any of those, but I got a house. And so I got to, you know, you got to have a little cash on the side. But I knew money would be coming in, extra money in March. I just spent it in February because I saw the breakout coming. And so I bought it right here on 21st of February. I've got my little green circle there showing that that was my purchase. And then look what happened just a few days later, the breakout. So I haven't bought anything in March because I've got no money. <laughs> it's all in here, except for what I have in, in savings. April, I'm eyeing post having and seeing if there's any dips after the having. So so I'm not buying anything right now. I'm sitting on the sidelines for at least a few more weeks to see what happens post Bitcoin having. I think there might be a little volatility there. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, Flow Finder, we'll talk about the layering stuff later. Too early to be getting into all that detail right now because everything's still going up and I'm not taking profits now. Uh, Louis, you can or you could buy Tesla merch with Doge, but right now there's nothing on their merch store that is priced in Dogecoin. So right now you can't. Dazzle wants Doge underwear. <laughs> but eventually, yeah, buy a Tesla car. That'd be nice. Ryan says he hasn't upped it up. Good for you, Ryan. Nate, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Whenever Doge is accepted on X payments, do you think that will start a domino effect for other corporate adoption? I do. I do. Mostly because that's going to be so huge. There's 550 million users on X. And if Doge is actually integrated into X, that's a lot of people. And it's not just you and me, but it includes some heavy hitters that use X. 
you know, like the all in podcast guys, right? All of a sudden Dogecoin is like right in their face. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to talk about it. it it's just going to be huge. So yeah, we got <laughs> big things coming. That's for sure. Big things coming. I think Elon Musk is going to tweet on Monday, April 1st. There's going to be some April Fool's tweet. He's done it every year. It's coming on Monday. I'll be live Monday, my, my normal time, 5 o'clock, because we'll also have the Doge future trading starting on Monday. But yeah, Elon's probably going to tweet something, and it's going to be Monday is my guess. Louise bought some at six cents. Ryan always loves the clips. I keep forgetting. I just get so wrapped up in the charts and talking to you guys. I always forget about my clips. <laughs> Mr. Trench is looking for Doge to fall to 18 cents. I don't know if you're going to see it. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a, a thing on uh, Sam Bankman Freed, which many think 20, 25 years isn't good news. It should be more. We'll talk about that. We will talk about that. Um, yes, Louise, you look at when your buys were, ideally, you only sell the coins that you bought at least 12 months ago, at least here in the United States, so that you're paying a long terms capital gains tax, as opposed to a short terms, short term capital gains, which saves you 15 to 20% between your federal taxes and your state taxes. That's a lot of money. So that's worth it to watch that too. Isn't that amazing? Doge is like $10 billion above Cardano now. <laughs> That's right, AJ. It's like $10 billion more than Cardano. <sighs> There's a lot of memes, a lot of new memes all the time. You don't know which ones are going to hit it big. And Luis says, hey, hit the like. Thank you, guys. Hit the like. Okay, let's get into some of the news. Cryptocurrencies price prediction. We've got Bitcoin, we've got SBF, and we've got Dogecoin to talk about. First, Bitcoin. Price holds above 70K. And that's what the Bitcoin price is doing. It's holding above 70K. This red line is 69. That was my target. Again, this is the daily chart. We came up over 73,000, hit an all-time high retraced back all the way to 61 and then traded back above 69 and we're holding up there even above 70. That is strong trading for Bitcoin and Bitcoin holding very well. And unless there's some big black swan event where like things dump, but no one sees that happening right now. The KuCoin thing isn't big enough to really make a difference and even if ETH um, you know, ends up that ETH ETF doesn't get approved by the SEC, even that, that, that might do something for ETH, but I don't think that's going to mess up the whole crypto market. So there's that. SBF, sentenced to 25 years in prison. 25 years. What do you guys think? For what he did, 75 years. Justice is not served, is what people are saying about Sam Bankman Fried's prison sentence. 25 years is too light, one crypto expert said. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly good to get the trial done and get Sam like gone. People stop talking about it, stop talking about FTX, like we're done with it, right? 
we're done with it. I heard he was uh, actually making a lot of friends with prison guards by telling them to buy Solana last summer, and then they all got a 10x profit on their Solana, thanks to Sam. <laughs> so yeah, Sam made lots of friends already. <laughs> Whatever. Sam Bankman-Fried perpetrated one of the biggest financial frauds in American history, a multi-billion dollar scheme designed to make him the king of crypto. But while the cryptocurrency industry might be new, players like Sam Bankman-Fried might be new, this kind of corruption is as old as time. Lying, cheating, stealing. That's it for Sam, right? And he plays innocent, you know, in all of those uh, interviews that he had. And he says thing like, things like, a lot of people feel really let down. I'm sorry about that. that you're not. You're not sorry, Sam. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew what you were doing. And all of that money you were giving away to politicians, you knew whose money that was. And that was not your money. That was all the people's money that were trading on your exchange. Dumb, 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 dumb. There are things I shouldn't have should have done, and there are things I shouldn't have done. Yeah, you bet right, Sam. So just covering it for today, because it's in the news today, and I won't talk about it again. In fact, I'll just close out of it. Done with you, Sam. <laughs> Done. We got better things to talk about. Like Doge. <laughs> like Doge. I know, Jimmy, it's not Friday. I'll be on tomorrow. The special Thursday one. Just because we had this big pump going and there was so much in the news. I was like, I got to cover some of this stuff. Dogecoin surges 18% as Dogecoin's $31 billion valuation is now more than the Deutsche Bank. How about that? Dogecoin is worth more than Deutsche Bank. Elon Musk is among the five most followed people on X Twitter. No surprise, his tweets move the market. From Tesla to cryptocurrency, Elon tweets. He hasn't really tweeted that much lately about Doge, but that's how he came up with this whole buying Twitter thing. That's how that all happened. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But for Doge, it's highest level since November 2021. We showed that earlier in my video that I made earlier today that this is new territory for Doge for the past three years. It's not really a broader cryptocurrency rally. Things have rallied and are now kind of settling down. Bitcoin is settling at 70, but now we've got some others like Doge that are running. So we see that happening. Dogecoin leaps in value, reaches 22 cents. It's first, well, the peak since 2021. And again, I showed that on the chart in my video earlier today. Doge. The father of all meme coins. And this chart just in the volume of trading that we've had over the past month compared to the months prior. This is this is all big for Dogecoin. And it could be the start of this continuing rally up. We don't know, which is why we're talking about not playing games, not trying to swing trade this, because you don't know. If this is going to go down, we don't know at this point. So far, it's just kept going up. Once it hit 20 cents and it retraced back to 12 and a half, it's then taken off since then. That is the classic trade, uh, trading looking chart 
that could mean this is still going up more. That we don't know. We have X payments expanding US licensing. Yes, they got another license. Dogecoin price surges. Misha Barr, I mentioned this earlier, reminds us that Elon had said that the first phase of X payments would not include crypto. And that could be that could be the case. So we have to be aware of that. And uh, this news story, will Elon Musk's X payment system include Dogecoin? We all think it will, but today X payments was granted a check sales and money transmitter license from Louisiana. That's another state, right? Louisiana, awesome. However, Louisiana also requires a virtual currency business license for products involving crypto assets, such as those offered by Robinhood, PayPal, Coinbase, and eToro. All of these companies have this operating license in addition to the money transmitter license. So on the state of Rhode Island, X did get a virtual currency business license, but it was together with the money transmitter. So according to them, they don't think that, 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 that states that require separate virtual currency licenses have been applied for yet. So we may not be seeing cryptocurrencies like Doge actually being integrated onto X right away. That could take some time. So just putting that out there just so you know. Uh, Dogecoin price analysis, can it reach 36 cents in April? That's what I'm gonna be talking about in my video this weekend, my April price prediction. My number is 35, I'm just saying. But that's my target is 35. But we'll see how, again, how Dogecoin trades for the next couple of days before I make that video. Dogecoin's recent surge supported by bullish EMA signals. Again, that's that word bullish, which was the word of the day yesterday, right? It was bullish. Last night's live stream was all about bullish, bullish, bullish. Indicates strong momentum, a rise in overall addresses, especially those holding over 10 million coins. Like how many you have? 10 million Dogecoin sitting in your wallet. I know one of you does. I know one of you does. Despite a 20% surge, Doge's relative strength index or RSI still suggests room for growth with potential further gains driven by the Coinbase futures listing. So nobody is saying this is stopping. This is all just starting positive momentum, bullishness, all moving forward. And then lastly, Dogecoin peaks, crypto surges as concerns over market bubble grow. But I think those thinking that all of crypto is in a bubble right now, those are the ones that will never believe in crypto because we have so many others who are saying Bitcoin as the store of value, it's not like a tulip bubble. This isn't a crypto bubble. This is a real digital asset that many, many wealthy people are now investing in. And that is going to continue to hold up the whole crypto market. And as more and more development happens on blockchains, blockchain technology, and integrating that into everyday life, this is huge. And what we're talking about with Dogecoin is what Bitcoin was meant to be, and that's its use as currency. People are not spending their Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at $70,000 a Bitcoin. 
with projections going to 100K, 200K, 500K, even a million dollars of Bitcoin by 2030. So who would be spending Bitcoin? Now, we all know that Dogecoin is probably going to go much higher too. But there's a lot more Dogecoin at a much lower price. <coughs> so that's what we're waiting on. That's what we're waiting on. Hey, Jack, appreciate the super sticker, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're in the 21 cent range now, 21.8. Not surprising, a little retracement, but yeah, losing a little strength right now. Should have sold earlier, Jake. <laughs> uh, the stock markets will be closed tomorrow. Could have sideways action this weekend. I think we'll still see a lot of anticipation on Dogecoin. And if Doge does drop down below 21 and into the 20s, we could see that turn around and come right back up. There will always be some retracements, can't go up forever. Exactly, Adam. Uh, could you go over the Doge retrace? Um, <laughs> again, even this move up was surprising. The charts aren't making I mean, it's too early to talk about that. I mean, we still have this blue line here at 18.8. Looks like that could be support. That would be a, 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 an initial retrace line right there at 18.8. But so far, Dogecoin has continued to see great buying. And like here we had on a Monday, we had this this is a daily chart. On Monday, we had this little red candle. There wasn't a big retrace. And then on last Friday, we had this little red candle, not a big retrace. So we might have a little red candle here tomorrow, but not a big retrace, because that's just not what's happening with Dogecoin right now. Much more of these steady, smaller green candles I think is better for Dogecoin than those huge giant rocket ones we had in 2021. And Dogecoin could not support that. This is much better trading for Doge, in my opinion. Yeah, Tim, Jackson Palmer's never going to change his stance on crypto. He's never going to do it. So, hey, his loss. That's how I, that's what I figure. It's his loss. Are there a lot of people in the crypto uh, space who are uh, grifters? That's one of the terms he uses. Sure, there are. It's money after all. And there will always be, wherever there's money, there's always gonna be people grifting. That's a given. People just didn't want to hear Jackson just continually talking about it. He had started a new YouTube channel and a podcast to talk about the grift. And then it went away. People didn't want to keep hearing about that. So, so much for Jackson. I mean, Billy's still having fun on X. Just making continual jokes about cryptocurrency and how much of a joke it is. But... Meanwhile, a lot of us are making a lot of money off it. So uh, would you say it's a safe bet? Dogecoin will get at least 50 cents this year. I keep pushing my sell initial sell point up higher. Was going to sell at 30. Now I'm getting greedy. Yeah, and, and what's going to happen to me, Ted, we're there on my 35 cent. Will I push it up when we get there? <laughs> Am I going to start getting greedy? I'm sure some of you guys will, write, will remind me, probably probably Ryan. Ryan will definitely remind me. Chris, you said 35 cents. And I'm waiting for 42 because I think 42 is a better number. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. 
AJ says, yeah, set it, set it and forget it till a dollar. Again, I, again, I did that in 2021 and it didn't happen. It didn't get there. Yeah, I know, Ryan. You got me. You'll remind me. Yep, 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 yep. Three dollars, I don't know. Uh, Jake says, I'd say it hit close to a dollar next month or two as long as we hit those supports. Looking like big holders into Doge. A lot of whale buying has happened and this momentum could continue. We could still see this momentum continue. So the things, the things I'm kind of hearing now are more that it wouldn't be a currency on X, but X would allow people maybe to attach wallets and with that be able to transfer cryptocurrency, particularly Dogecoin, and maybe only Dogecoin using the X platform from wallet to wallet. That was the latest thing. I covered that the other day. They could do that. You're welcome, Jack. Appreciate it. Yeah, Emil, uh, Dogecoin earlier surpassed USDC at the beginning of the live stream. Doge was number seven. It was over USDC. And I haven't refreshed this because I don't want to show it back in eighth, even though the number is lower. <laughs> the number is lower now, but I don't want to refresh it because I still like Dogecoin, seeing Dogecoin here at number seven. But as soon as I refresh, it's going to drop back down. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, it was up 14% on the day 22. I've been mostly swing trading. So today I would have been up 500 bucks. I had sold the 22 and bought back in around 20. Yeah. If you want to play those games, I guess you can. Um, you're paying those short-term capital gains taxes on your profits. Um, so be aware of that. And there might be one of these times where you sell at 22 and it doesn't pull back. And it just keeps going up. So you have to be careful about that. Fondue Edge. I put 2K in Dogecoin, lost $100 in the last 30 minutes. Short term thinking. Short term thinking. Got a long ways to go. What do you think about the charts that are showing going to 20 to 40? Yeah, we'll be looking at that um again this weekend uh again we go out to the weekly here and we look back at where doge was trading up to 35 cents here back in august of 2021 this is after doge had come down from 74 had traded down you know to, to 28 30 cents came back up over 30 traded all the way down to 17 cents and then came back up to 35. That move right there, that's the one I keep looking at that set this yellow line at 35 cents. That came from that trading back in 2021. So that's my target line right there, is that 35 cent line. So we'll see little bits of profit taking is what I'm planning on doing. Now, could Dogecoin just zoom back up to 44 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents? Yes, it could do that. But we don't know. We don't know how long that's going to take, when that's going to happen. Nobody expected that so fast in April and early May of 2021. But then when it came down, it came down hard. And that was tough. So. Yeah, we have to watch that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Trent says, I think it'll be hard to get into price discovery mode, but not impossible. Doge could do that. I think getting past 74 cents will be tough. There'll be a lot of people taking profits there because that was the previous all time high. We saw that with Bitcoin. When Bitcoin is having a tough time getting to 69K, it gets like 68, 8, 
and then it would sell off, but eventually it traded past it and made a new all-time high. So we could see something similar to that with Doge. AM says to buy SHIB as much as you can. It doesn't hurt to have some SHIB, in my opinion. I've got a little bag of SHIB, and I'm just waiting for that huge run that SHIB will probably go on at some point in time, this bull market. But I'm not watching it every day. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'll just wait for that to happen. I do not know what the fees are in Bitcoin Cash, Jack. I've never looked into that. Um, it, Bitcoin Cash has, just has a small group of people that support it. It's not like Doge. And Bitcoin Cash still has a lot of negativity um, about it after all these years. So I don't know. Don't know what will happen. In Australia and the Pacific, they use Bitcoin Cash more often. I prefer to just stick with Doge, though. Um, homeless guy is asking me about Matt Wallace. So with Matt, he'll follow wherever the money is. So right now, since he already had a big following on Twitter, he's grown that following on X. But the posts that he makes are just whatever's popular, whatever the newest conspiracy theory is. He's, there's nothing original about Matt Wallace. Nothing original. He's just, he'll do whatever gets him the most money. That's Matt. Yeah, the, uh, this is probably some profit taking right here. We're seeing in Dogecoin right now. Again, this is, these are short term thinkers that take in profits, and that's typical trading. And there'll be a lot of that. And there's probably a lot of bot trading involved too. These bot programs hit certain targets and then sell um, for those that are using bots. There's a lot of bot trading that happens. So that could be behind some of this as well. But for those of you that took profit up here and you're waiting for it to drop down here, you don't know how low it's going to drop. When do you buy back in? I don't play that game anymore. I used to. I don't play it anymore. Sometimes that would just stress me out too much. And you're never going to hit the exact bottom. You don't know. Uh, Jake says, we've been seeing 2 to 3% dumps after breakouts. Buy the dumps, dollar cost average, make profits. Sounds easy. But in reality, it's not. Because you don't know what's happening next. And you don't know where to buy back in. So you said, yeah, today you decided to hold dollar cost average a little bit. Cool. 82 minutes into the stream. I, I had to start early. Stephanie says you only lose if you sell. That's true. But right now, there's not a lot of people losing. People are making money. But most of the money you're making now, I think, is short term. It's a short term term um, kind of low thinking to take profits now and think we're done with the with the potential that Dogecoin has. There's so many people who end up regretting selling early. And you see stories again and again and again of those that of those that sell early and miss out on a huge run, which is why I always say, hey, you don't have to sell everything. You sell some of it and you keep some in the game just in case it keeps going up. And then you're still in the game. Jack just checked out my merch store for Dogecoin merch. Here's one of the products that I have. It's a Dogecoin mug. This is the the Radius Doge. So I have a link in the description below for if anybody's interested in Doge merch, 
I've got a few other things in there as well. I think I've got like one or two Bitcoin items and some other like conspiracy theory stuff, but some good Dogecoin stuff too. Shirts, mugs, hats, things like that. So if you're interested in some Doge merch, check out the Chris Pack store. I haven't actually called that up during a stream in quite some time. Uh, here is the link you go. This is what it looks like. It's the Chris store. And there's all kinds of products. Got the, got the, uh, the cool Doge with the glasses. Um, you just go and you just say, uh, shop now and you can, you can shop by product or you can go into show more and you'll see all the different designs that I have. Very cool. So you can check that out. And no, the store does not accept Dogecoin, unfortunately. This is the company I'd partnered with before and already had this set up, and they don't take cryptocurrency. But it's a fun store. Check it out if you want to buy some Dogecoin merch. A lot to choose from. This is the Doge on Mars. Dojan Mars one. Yeah, there's a Bitcoin one if you want the Bitcoin B on something. Anyway, you can check that out. A little merch. Leverage prices are getting crazy. Yeah, I don't trade leverage. I just look at the uh, liquidations. We showed this earlier. The past 24 hours, there's been $18 million alone. $18 million alone in Dogecoin liquidations in the past 24 hours. Do you know that in the past 24 hours, there was one single liquidation order on Binance on a Bitcoin leveraged long that got liquidated for $10 million. $10 million. What are you doing? Crazy. Crazy, I say. Francisco says the losers are the ones selling now for very little profits and then chasing, well, probably not losing more money, but not making as much as you could have if you had just DCA'd and held. That's what you're missing out on profits. You're not losing, but you're missing out on profits. As Rob at Digital Asset News says, he says, nothing wrong with taking profits, but there is if you sell it all, then there's something wrong because you're missing out on big profits then. And why are you in this game to begin with? You wanna skimp and just make a little bit of money or do you wanna maybe Change your life. That's what we're talking about. The subway footlong thinks that Doge is going to go back to 19 cents and then move up to 25, 25 to 30, 19. Um, yeah, that's 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 right down here. Well, this this dip right here was 19.3 on Wednesday. So that's kind of the most recent dip. But now that it's traded up over 20, I don't know if it's going to come back below 20. I don't know. May, may try and fill like this gap right here, like that, that green candle, and maybe, maybe come back to like 20.5, 20 20.4 would be right there. Again, I don't do a lot of this, uh, the real like technical analysis stuff like Tom Crown does, but again, that's the purple, this big purple, purple box was from Tom. And we'll see whether Doge stays in that or not. We'll be watching that. 
12 cents to 14 cents? Mm. Do not see that. I, I don't see 12 cents. We're, I mean, we're at 22, 21.6. That's, that's so big of a pullback. I mean, that would be like a big dump in the whole crypto market to get Doge to go down to that level. Don't see that happening. Yeah, you could buy back twice as much, but what if it doesn't? Then what are you doing? You're sitting, you're waiting, and it doesn't hit it, and then you've got nothing. And yeah, Tim suggests just sell your initial investment, then whatever you put in, you then take out, you profited from that, and the rest of it, you let it ride. You're a guaranteed winner then. Guaranteed winner. DM says I should have sold my house and bought Doge. <laughs> Lots of Nostradamus is here. Yeah, AJ. I named my grid trading bot Mr. Doggo Roboto. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, so overall, let's see what else is happening in the markets. Whiff continues to grow. Look at Whiff. Unbelievable. That that thing just won't stop. It won't stop. Three dollars and eighty-three cents for Whiff. Look at this on the daily chart just keeps going up. When it came back down to $2, I said, okay, that's it for whiff. Nope. That's crazy. Whiff. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Pepe. Yeah, Pepe hasn't turned around and gone back up like whiff did. But th even this run that it had here in early March was crazy for Pepe. But uh, yeah, the memes are still are still running overall, and there's a lot more memes. I was looking on on the crypto bubbles here, not only at Whiff, Pepe, and Floki and Bonk, right? All of them are up big in the green. But then I went to page two, and it was like Brett. And boom, those are running. So more memes coming up. And bread is huge now. It's just, it's huge. $445 million market cap for bread. See, you guys are just like, you sold half your doge at 19 and a half and you're waiting for a good buyback price. Well, if it even drops back to 19 and a half cents, we don't know. It's 21.8 now. It might not drop back. This might have been it at 21.5 and now it goes right back up. We don't know. That's why that swing trading is like, don't F it up. You start playing those games and then you're chasing. This takes off and then you're gonna buy back in at a lot higher price. You'll have less doge. This is the same crap that was going on back in 2021 between that first run in late January, early February, and then in April when it took off. Someone I know sold all of their doge at seven cents and they were gonna buy it back all at six cents. And instead, Doge ran up to 42 cents and they were not in the game. I think they bought back in at about 20 when Doge had that big retrace. But those are the kinds of games that just, you don't know. Why are people selling their 
trying to play the games and just swing trade think it's sometimes dogecoin is an easy swing trade and that is when the markets are not volatile when things are trading sideways that's when dogecoin is easy to swing trade and i did that a couple times i made some videos on that but that was like over a year ago because doge will go on a big pump right and then you sell and then doge will drop right drop down and then you buy back in at a lower price but not in this kind of market your the volume is ticked up you've got all this great news happening it's not off of a off of like a sudden elon musk tweet and the price goes up because elon tweeted about doge that, that that's not happening anymore doge is not in that kind of of uh of mode it is now you know, big whales investing, buying into this all in anticipation of this big thing that's going to happen in the not too distant future. So that's just games. And as uh, Ryan says, only up from here. I'm uh, uh, AMC stock. Faraz is asking about AMC stock. I still have some AMC. It's like a four bucks a share. Uh, really disappointed. I. I think it's even going to have a hard time getting back to $10. They've diluted that stock so bad that um, it's just not the same stock anymore. I'm, I'm actually, I should have sold that a long time ago, just bought Doge. I thought it'd be fun. Yeah, I have some of the AMC stock in case there was a short squeeze again. I don't see it happening. 75, no, no. Uh, so Gene's asking my price prediction for Dogecoin end of April. Watch my video this week. I'd hate to not answer the question now, but I got a video coming up that I'll be making this weekend that's gonna talk about that. So we'll get there, we'll get there. Jason, how are you? Welcome. I know it's a Thursday, right? If you're wondering, what's Chris doing on, on a Thursday? Well, we had 22 cent Dogecoin earlier. It's kind of come back a little 2175, but I couldn't miss out on this and share kind of the fun with you guys. With you guys. Jay says, I was buying back in August, September, I've been buying every month since, picked up some Doge and Sheep yesterday. We'll take first profit, 35 cents. Happy playing the long game. I'm right with you, Jay. That's my plan too. That's my plan too. And I'm not selling all at 35 cents, a percentage. Probably the Doge that I bought back in 2021 at two cents. That's the doge I will sell this time for profit. The two cent doge. The stuff that I bought at five, six, seven cents, we'll let that ride a little longer. We'll let that ride. If you and Tim says, if you invested 500 and now it's worth 1200, you sell 700. This covers your initial investment and taxes. about that and then you let the let the rest ride right in april 2021 i hodled and didn't gain much had ten thousand disappear unrealized gains that just kind of went away like that dogecoin millionaire glauber contessado right he had three million dollars in his robin hood account it was all doge over three million dollars and it dropped under a million that's over two million dollars in decline he's convinced dogecoin's going to a dollar still and so he's still holding <laughs> AJ don't A trade with the with the Dogecoin D. How about Chris tweet? 
What about my Chris treat? Here I am on X. Got some people coming in from that. I uh, got Crypto March Madness going on. Match number eight. XRP against Bitcoin Cash. Looks like Bitcoin Cash has a lead over XRP. Bitcoin Cash could knock out XRP. Here's our current bracket. The Elite Eight is going to be Dogecoin, Polkadot, Ethereum, Litecoin, Cardano, Solana, Bitcoin. Will it be XRP or Bitcoin Cash for that eighth slot? And then tomorrow, we will start the Elite Eight. And the first match in the Elite Eight is going to be Dogecoin against Polkadot. So watch for that Friday at noon. Dogecoin against Polkadot. So vote, please vote as we get into the Elite Eight in Crypto March Madness 2024. Yeah, I had a lot of fun tweets last night. There was a lot going on. 22 cent Dogecoin. Dogecoin continuing to run. The is he still here meme for Doge. Yep, Doge still there. You Bitcoin maxis better get used to it. And we're way up ahead of Cardano now. So yeah, there was a lot going on last night with Doge. So yeah, follow me on uh, X Twitter. We're having a lot of fun there. Having a lot of fun. You sold all your AFC, AMC with the Taylor Swift pump. That would have been a good time. I agree. Yeah, many people don't think about their taxes, but you think about it when you start doing your taxes for the previous year. And you got to keep track of all of that. Dogecoin continues going up, up, up. That's what I said. When is Sheeb going to go? We don't know. Coffee? I have no idea when Sheeb is going to go on a full big run. It's going to come from out of nowhere which is why you just buy and hold and you wait. That's what I'm doing. AJ is asking a stacks or Arbitrum. Um, th there's a reason why you would want each stacks because it's a layer two on Bitcoin. And as Bitcoin goes, stacks goes. So if you think Bitcoin is going to do a three X up to like, you know, 200,000, Stacks will most likely do very well. Arbitrum, because it's a layer two on ETH, and ETH just had the Denkun upgrade, which means all of those fees for those L2s came way down, which helps Optimism and Arbitrum. Arbitrum just had a huge token unlock, so Arbitrum's price has gone down. So comparatively, Arbitrum at $1.67 is a better buy again let's go to the daily chart and you'll see i mean arbitrum was up here over two dollars before the token unlock and then we had this big sell-off happen because the token unlock was like 88 percent of the total circulating supply was what then unlocked and so you have that much more in circulation all of a sudden. So the price dumped. Now there was this one tail, this one wick that came down below a dollar fifty. So I was thinking, you know, maybe a dollar fifty is a good buy-in price for Arbitrum because there's a lot of TVL total value locked on Arbitrum. A lot of people using Arbitrum to build on. Um, and I think our will do very well. It's just this huge token unlock that caused this to drop down. So there's a good buying opportunity here. Stacks hasn't dropped down. This was my $2.80 line that I was guiding Stacks on, but instead Stacks has gone up higher. So to buy in now, you might have a better gain percentage-wise with Arbitrum. Just a thought something I've been looking at. And again, I'm looking at April and buying in, thinking that after the Bitcoin halving, there's going to be a retracement late April into early May. And I'm looking at buying my next crypto then. 
but we'll see what happens. Long ways to go before then, but that's my take, AJ. Thanks for asking. Adam says, I've been holding Doge since early 2021 at five and a half cents. Bought more during bear market at 10 cents, and you haven't sold any yet. Strong work. We will be talking about profit taking months from now. Probably sometime in the summer, we'll begin those conversations. We'll see what's going on, though. We'll see what's going on. Long weekend starts now, time to buy drinkies. Time to buy drinkies. You're not working tomorrow. I got to work tomorrow. I got a big meeting tomorrow that I got to do. Um, but I'm going to try at noontime to get a video out, and then I'll be live, and I will be having my drink with you at 5 o'clock on Friday. 5 o'clock on Friday, I'll be having my drink with you. Uh, why would I sell 700 if the net worth is 1200? That's selling more than half of it. Um, again, it's just if you want to cover your initial uh, initial purchase plus the tax. That's what he was saying. Like if you put in 500, if you only sold 500, you still have to pay the tax on the profit to 1200. So. Um, so he was saying, look, if you sold 700, then you've covered not only the initial investment, but also the tax you have to pay. And then you're even, and then the rest of it rides for pure profit, whatever it does. Again, for you know, Jerry's just saying, okay, well, I'll just let it ride. He was only talking about if you want to take profit and you want to just secure your initial investment, you can do that. I don't think he was recommending that. Leo's asking, uh, do you have an opinion on the new IPO on Robinhood Reddit? Yeah, that Reddit stock was actually going up, which I was surprised to see. I was like, what? Reddit. Oh, uh, look, it's come down though. Look at that. I, I wasn't I wasn't watching. But wow, look at that. It traded all the way up to $72, $74. And today it traded down 14%. And then another 2% after hours. So it's now at $48. Yeah, this big pump up here earlier this week, I was like, what is going on with this? But look at that profit taking, selling all the way, all the way down. Wow. I hadn't looked at the chart until now. And I wouldn't be surprised if it kept dropping. Totally overvalued, in my opinion, to what you get. But a lot of people made a lot of money off of it. So, I mean, that's what happens with IPOs, right? Somebody makes a lot of money, but somebody was buying Reddit stock up here at 70 bucks and now it's at 48. And it's like, what are you doing? I wasn't touching it. Doge is starting to turn around, come back. Looks like we're going to cross back over this 22 cent line. Good times. Have I heard of Solidus AI? Never heard of it. Don't know what it is. Solidus AI. Is it a cryptocurrency? Never heard of it. Solidus. Solidus AI Tech. It is number 385, up 15% today to 29 cents. 
It has a uh, circulating supply that is only about 25% of the overall max supply. So that means token unlocks. That's right. There's going to be token unlocks. You should find out when additional tokens are going to come into supply. So you should look at that if you're interested in this thing. This is what I always look at first thing. It's like, what's the max supply? How much is in circulation now and what that percentage is? Only a quarter of the tokens are out there. So that means there's going to be unlocks. You got to find the unlock schedule, when and how many are going to come out. Because that was that whole thing with Arbitrum. They just had that 88% token unlock that just happened last week. It was just like, so I had sold Arbitrum a couple weeks before, took my profit. My profit on Arbitrum was at about $1.94 is when I sold it. It had already gone up over $2. But then when I found out about the token unlock, I sold at $1.94. Now it's at a dollar sixty-seven. So I would I would look for that on this Solidus, whatever this is. Uh, looks like it's a BNB smart chain token. Which why why are people building on BNB for this? That I question that as well. Why why are you a BNB? That doesn't make sense to me. Solidus AI tech, the wave of the future. High performance computing power and artificial intelligence marketplace. I have no idea what that means. It's a terrible website. Terrible website. Um, fast and secure power consumption. This doesn't tell me what it is. Payment gateway backed by the AI tech token. AI platform. I have no idea what this does still. We provide solutions for public sector applications encompassing smart contracts. How can you encompass smart contracts when you're just a token on somebody else's blockchain? I'm sorry. I'll, I think all of this is just garbage. I don't know what else. Exchanges. Good for them that they they're they're able to get listed on a bunch of exchanges. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Good luck with that. Not one I'm interested in. Yeah, here we are back over 22 cents for Dogecoin. Told you guys it would turn back around. You think uh, Bitcoin against Doge and the championships? Probably. Probably it will be Bitcoin and Dogecoin. And he's talking about the Crypto March Madness bracket will could be end up Dogecoin against Bitcoin in the finals. Hey, you guys know what you do. I'm not saying anything. I just put it out there. I'm not saying anything. Beyonce will be able to the next AMC pump. Target 30 cents to 50 cents and then a correction and then fly to a dollar and up to four. Could be. You never know. Yeah, Alper's talking about this um, merger with these AI tokens, Fetch, Singularity, and Ocean. I don't know how that's going to work completely. It looks like the Fetch token is being the one that's being used as the main new AI token, the AIS token. And then they're going to be able to swap your Ocean and your Singularity tokens for the new AI, something like that. I don't know how that's going to work. If Doge really breaks out into silly but sensible numbers coming over from the UK, we're going to have a Doge party. Well, Boston, I'm hosting one at a dollar. So we're going to have a big gathering when Doge hits a dollar here in Boston. So 
for those that are, are thinking thinking about how much money that you'll have, well, that means you got to sell a little dough somewhere, right, to get up to Boston. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Only meme coin I would buy and trust is Doge. The rest are too sketchy. Uh, agree. Now, I own some Bonk because I think Bonk is going to be used in the next Solana phone and it's probably going to pump again and then I'll sell. And Sheeb, I already told you, I think that's going to go on a big pump. There's too many ETH whales that own a crap ton of Sheeb. The Sheeb will go on a pump and I'll sell that for profit. I'm already up. 3x on my sheep because I bought it at 10 and now it's over 30. It's up to 31. It was just 32. So that's a pretty good return already, but it hasn't gone on that monster run yet. And I'm waiting for that. And I'm just booking the profit on that. But Doge, I will never sell all my Doge. I will always have some Dogecoin in my wallet, not selling all of it. But I'm going to take some profit with Doge, especially the Doge that I bought at two cents over three years ago. I'm taking profit on that. But I also want to use Doge for currency. I've talked about that power of the currency. You buy Doge at five cents. And then if the current price is at 50 cents, you have 10 times the buying power for what you actually spent. Our example was a $250,000 you know, Ferrari and you use Doge when the Doge price is 50 cents, but you only paid for your Doge when it was 5 cents. You can get that $250,000 Ferrari for 25000 for 25 grand is what you actually paid for a $250,000 Ferrari. We use the Ferrari example because they accept Dogecoin as payment now. So you can buy a Ferrari with Dogecoin. But you wait until the price is up. And then it, that's, the, that's, that's the buying power of Dogecoin is you buy low, and you don't sell high, you actually buy something with it when it's high. Uh, so in Robinhood, if you sell within Robinhood or when you take your money out, no, it's when you sell, when you actually hit the sell button, that is when that's a taxable event. You don't pay the tax actually until the next year, right? For the previous year. So now the taxes that are due, you know, middle of April in the United States here for in 2024 is for all those trades you made back in 2023. So if you sold Dogecoin today and you made, let's say $10,000 profit, but you didn't take the money out of Robinhood, you're tax liability is on that tax of that $10,000 profit. But at the end of the year, you add up all your profits and losses on all of your trades throughout the year, whether you take the money out of the account or not, doesn't matter. You made, and even if you swap, if you do one of those, well, I'll just, I'll just swap my Doge for BTC. That's a taxable event. Now, Robinhood will keep track of that for you. If you only use Robinhood, they do send out 1099 forms and they will show all of your trades. So if you're only using Robinhood, then they'll take care of that for you. But if you're doing trades on some of these DGEN, you know, DeFi platforms, especially if you're on a platform where you don't have KYC, you got to keep track of all that because somewhere along the way you're going to cash out money and the irs is going to want to know where did that money come from so it's your responsibility to keep track of your buys and your sells and your swaps if you're doing swap that's on you 
I even do that even, even with my Robinhood stuff. I still have that on my spreadsheet as well. Same as Coinbase. Even though they give you forms, I keep track of it. With all the people yelling Doge to a dollar over the last couple of years, do you believe it's going to bounce hard? I believe, John, it's going to have a hard time reaching a dollar because people are already going to start selling it. 95 cents, 96 cents, 98 cents. We just saw that with Bitcoin at 69K. Got to 68.8 and just couldn't get over it. But eventually it did. But that's that's a thing that Dogecoin's going to have a hard time too. We saw that with ETH Classic at $100 a few years ago. Couldn't quite get over 100 and then eventually it did, and it blew past it. And then there was a big dump, and it dumped back below 100 and hasn't seen it since. But you get my point. Uh, how are taxable events calculated? Like you buy 100 of ADA, it goes to 500. You sell that and reinvest. Doesn't matter what you do with it. You still have a $400 profit, and you have to pay taxes on that 400 regardless of what you do with the money after that. It doesn't matter. I had a whole live stream back in December, tax live stream, and I went through all of this in detail. You can go onto my channel and you can look at past live streams and you can see my, my epic crypto tax live stream. And I went into detail on all of this stuff. But I don't mind answering questions too. I don't mind. Tim says uh, it's worth more when you sell it and you pay tax on the amount it's up. Yeah, Doge is struggling, AJ, here with this 22 cent line. Now it's 21.96, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I like being in the purple channel too. And this is the bottom of the purple channel. The purple channel actually goes up to 28 cents. Here's the whole purple channel. It's this whole channel right here, all the way up to 28. This is what Tom Crown said the choppy trading was going to be. So I made a purple channel here from what Tom said. And I'm going with it. I'm going with it. And if we stay in the purple channel, that's fine with me. I know some of you want it to dip down so you can buy in at a lower price. I get that. But Doge might have other plans. It wouldn't be at Cheers. If I was having a gathering, it won't be at Cheers. We're, we don't go to that place. That's for tourists. <laughs> we don't go to that place. Um, on the 1099 form, does Robinhood separate long term from short term? I think they just give you the buy and sell dates and you've got to do that. I think so. Tim says, protect your money. AJ, AMP, I have no idea. I don't follow AMP. I've got some that I got for free on Coinbase, a little bit of it, and it's just like, whatever. I did one of those stupid little educational things just for the fun of it. It was just like, ah, oh, I've got AMP, great worth like eight dollars something like that hmm. Anja asks, will the crypto uh will it dump in the weeks leading up to the halving or is that something that would happen after my guess is it's something that's going to happen after i think the price uh, of bitcoin will actually be going up slightly leading to the halving 
and then it's going to be the weeks after the halving that we're going to see a correction. That's what I think is going to happen, and that's what I'm playing. I'm playing it that way. So I'm not buying anything early April. I'm waiting till late April. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, uh, anything that I'm buying now is just a small percentage of my overall portfolio because I've got so much in there that it's just extra. It's just extra. Because again, I was buying most of my cryptos a year to a year and three months ago when Bitcoin was at 16K. I mean, Dogecoin was seven cents then. It then went lower over the summer and I bought some more at 5.8 cents. You guys remember that. But that's when I was also buying other cryptos like Sheeb at 10 and was getting into Render and Jasmine. My, the Jasmine that I have is, you know, 0 0.0033, you know, way less than a penny. It was like a third of a penny. And now Jasmine is at, where is Jasmine now? It's at two, it's over two cents. And I bought it at a third of a penny. So I'm like six X on my Jasmine. But yeah, we were talking about that last summer for the few of you that were here last summer. I was here. I didn't give up on Doge, kept making videos all through the bear market. I was here. You can go onto my channel and you can, you can click on videos and you can scroll all the way down and all the videos I was making in the, in the bear market, I was here. So you guys might not have been here, but I was here. And here's from six months ago. Will Dogecoin follow the Bitcoin four year cycle? That's a great video. All of these huge Dogecoin news while why I'm bullish. And that was six months ago when Doge was at six cents. I'm saying I'm bullish. I'm bullish. So yeah. But yeah, I was even covering the dumps back then, dip buying opportunities, things like that. But I was here through the whole bear market, crypto crash, all of that. So, yep. It's too bad Jasmine couldn't hold that 2.2 .2 cents up here from earlier today. Hey, Lay, how are you? Ryan says bags are packed. Going to the moon. Pablo, we talked about this earlier in the stream. Should I sell and buy in a lower price? I don't pay that game, play that game. You don't know if there's going to be a lower price or not. Not with the action that Doge has. You don't know. This is just, it's just going up. And you don't know if there's going to be a big retrace or not. If you sell here, you'd make the risk of having to buy in back in at a higher price because it doesn't retrace down. And if it did start going down and you wanted to go lower, you might miss the, the dip. So I don't, I don't play that game anymore. Not in this market, not with all this volume of trading, not with Doge. Could you make money that way? Could you accumulate extra Dogecoin doing that? Sure, you could do that, but you could also miss out. For me, that's not worth the risk, especially how much money I'm making on Dogecoin already. Yeah, AJ, Boston is wicked expensive. <laughs> it is really expensive up here. Rents are really high. Real estate is really high unless you buy something way out, right, way outside of Boston. But yeah, that's it's expensive to live here. MG says, I got my average to 22 that I've had for four years. Awesome. Good for you. Uh, Radio Doge, it's a great project. 
Um, the moon is probably a little little far, but who knows what Elon's going to do with Starlink? If it gets to moon, will Starlink work? I don't know. And Conrad's asking about the top. Uh, I don't know. The four-year cycles say that the top won't be until 2025. But with Doge, you never know. Doge could go on a huge run and top out in 2024. That could happen. Which is why I believe in a layering out method of taking profits. Because you don't know what it's going to do. Franke says, so excited for Doge payments on X, eventually Tesla. No, I haven't looked at token buy. Conrad likes my own videos. Crypto the Conqueror, Dogecoin. Yeah, Concha says, I wish your YouTube algorithm had put you in my feed about a year sooner. Well, we're here now. We're here now. 90 cents should be no problem. 50 cents is a game changer. If I knew Dogecoin was going to 90 cents for sure, I wouldn't start taking profits sooner. We just don't know what's going to happen. So that's why I'll be layering out. What happened to my desk back in the old days? Yeah, I'm not living there anymore. Someday I'll tell my whole story, but I'm just, I don't have that anymore. So, uh, Right now, it's just a, a basic white background. And at some point in time, it'll change to something else, which will be my more permanent space. But we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, I like my old studio. That was the wood paneling with all the shelves and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. Don't chill on the channel, guys. If you want me to talk about your stupid token, sell me, send me a $10 super chat. And I'll be glad to look at your token. Should you invest in Doge now? So Daniel, do you have money? And do you have money sitting in a bank that you're not using? Like a dollar bill or whatever currency your country has, right? Wherever you may be. The more of this money you have sitting in a bank, not doing anything, the more that money, well, it just slowly inflates away or deflates, let's say. That dollar, I mean, let's say you have $1,000, right? And it's sitting in a bank, right? And you're asking, should I invest in Doge now? Well, what's that $1,000 actually going to be worth a year from now? Right. What, what's your, what are you going to be able to buy with that $1,000? Not $1,000 worth anymore because it will inflate. The cost of everything else will inflate. So your money isn't worth as much. But if you buy Doge now and you think the price of Doge is going to go up, then you're going to have more money that way. So you make that decision for you. Should you buy Doge now? If you think the price is going to go up from here, obviously there's a risk involved with it, but so that's your decision. In April, I'm buying, I'm going to buy more crypto. And I told you my plan I'm waiting for after the halving for some eventual dip that I think is going to happen. And then I will buy, be buying crypto then because I believe in not just DCAing whatever the price is, but I always, since I'm still kind of a trader, this is my little thing of waiting for the dips and buying on dips. If the price of Dogecoin at the end of April is over 30 cents, when I could have bought it at you know, early April, maybe at 23 cents or whatever the price is going to be, eh, so be it. Again, I've already got a lot of Dogecoin. 
So what I'm buying now is a small percentage based on my overall portfolio. But I'd like to get it at a cheap price. And I talk about you know, my forecasting of what I see happening with the news and the charts, and I think there's going to be a pullback. And I trade what I say. I do what I say. I think there's going to be a pullback. I'm going to trade that. So I'll be buying crypto then. And we'll see what the price actually does. The accelerated cycle is the one music reel that I was just talking about with Doge, particularly if Doge goes on a big run in 2024, Doge could top off in 2024 and not wait until 2025, which would be the normal four-year cycle of hitting an all-time high. That could happen. It could happen. We don't know. There's no guarantees that Bitcoin and all of crypto is, are going to hit all-time highs in 2025. We have no idea. Could happen. Don't know. And like Leo says, the buying power I was talking about with a Tesla, yeah. You could get a nice um, uh, a Model X with Plaid, which would which is like a hundred thousand dollar car. You could get it for ten thousand. You your actual cost buying with Doge would be about ten thousand dollars. If you bought your Doge at five cents and the price at that time is fifty cents for Doge. That's the buying power, 10X, yes. That's pretty good. Our Stabby, I've been following you for years since the start of things. Thanks for all the nice videos. Actually managed to buy my first house because of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. I just, I just show you what I think. I got a lot of years experience. I traded a lot of stocks before I got into crypto. And I tell it like it is. After two years of being 21 cents, got out today, going to buy back in. Do I think it'll drop a little? Yeah, I don't know. It's not looking like it right now. It looks like we're settling right here at like the upper 21s. So will there be a dip down? I don't know. Invest in the Chris Peck Studio upgrades. Jason, I'll tell the story sometime in the future. For now, it's just a white background. And that's what it's gonna be for a little while. What is my average cost in Doge? I don't know exactly because I have Doge all over the place. Um, from the two cent Doge to the five, to the six, to the seven, to the eight. Those are all the ranges of which I've bought Dogecoin. I would guess that my average is probably in the sixes. Would be my guess is my average cost of all the Doge I have would probably be in the sixes. When GigaWallet accepts Doge, will become a place safer than an exchange if you move coins. Uh, so GigaWallet is not a wallet for accepting Doge. GigaWallet is actually something that businesses use in order to con sort of like an API to connect with whatever their software is, whatever they're using to accept payments so that make it easier for them to accept Dogecoin. That's what GigaWallet is. How does one sell coins in a cold and hot storage? You just really have to buy a wallet and use it. My suggestion is, and this is the easiest way, is, is download the app called MyDoge. Download the app called MyDoge, and I'll show you that. This is, this is my, my Doge. I've got 
99 Doge in here right now. But this is the Doge that I use for tipping, for payments and things like that. I don't have much in here right now. I need to transfer some more in here. But try the My Doge app and put some Doge in here. This is a this is a like a hot wallet, right? This is this is for this is for Doge that you actually want to use to buy things. Is My Doge, and this is what I use it for. Um, and you can see I've got some tips here. That are, that are listed there. Um, and just use it. And that's how you learn how wallets work. And now I also have a ledger. This is the Nano S Plus. And I do have a link in the description below for Ledger. If you want to try out Ledger hardware wallet, I do get a little bit of a affiliate income if you buy a Ledger using my link. But I'm open about that. But it's the best hardware wallet, in my opinion. But you only need the Nano S Plus, and you don't activate the, what you actually have to buy and pay for is for them keeping your seed phrase for you. It's like, why would you want to do that? You have your seed phrase, you write it down, you keep it someplace safe, and that's all you need. And you only use Ledger Live plug this in, transfer crypto, and then unplug it. And that's cold storage wallet. And I got a bunch of crypto on this. I use a couple others. I have an Exodus wallet as well. And that's what I use for staking because they have a lot of staking that they allow. Like you can stake on Coinbase, right? You can buy like ETH on Coinbase and you can stake it there, but it's still on an exchange and it's not your crypto because you don't have the seed phrase for that crypto, where that crypto is stored, because it's on the exchange. But if you transfer it into Exodus Wallet, then you can stake it there. I have Algorand, I have VeChain, I have Cardano. On Exodus Wallet, and those are all staked. So that's why I use that wallet. And I've got a bunch of Dogecoin on there too. I've got Dogecoin there. I've got Dogecoin in Robinhood. I've got Dogecoin on Ledger. I've got Dogecoin on Coinbase. I've got Dogecoin in My Doge. Some on Robinhood. I I I got Dogecoin everywhere. <laughs> kind of hard to keep track of. Yeah. SP Narwhal says I remember being in a live stream with four other viewers, but I was here. I was here. And Adam's a reminder, always keep keep in mind, you don't know what's going to happen with crypto. And we're talking about like Dogecoin going to 30 cents, 50 cents, a dollar. We don't know. You don't know that for sure. I don't know that for sure. It's all a risk. We don't know. Things can happen. But I tell you what I'm doing. Chris out here making dreams possible. Just talking sense, I guess, of what I believe. So far it's done, it's done me pretty well. Jay says that your holiday in Italy look great. If you go back to Italy, consider Amalfi Coast, Lovello, et cetera. Try that. This was uh Second time I've been in Italy. Um, the other time was Florence, Rome. Uh, but I also went down to Naples to go see Pompeii. Again, I'm an architect, so I had to see like the old Pompeii ruins. Um, and then went up through Bologna to Milan and over to Venice. That was last time. This trip was um, was really focused more on the life, not the architecture so much. But, but yeah, Adam, Rome, Florence, Pisa, Siena, San Gimignano, like the Tuscany countryside. We went to a wine, a winery and got to sample a bunch of different wines, things like that. It was that kind of vacation. That was nice. 
But sure, we'll look for that next time. Another reminder from Jason to hit the like button, everybody. Appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Appreciate the support. Hey, Paul, been looking for you for a while since way back. Awesome. Well, glad you found me again. I've been here hanging out. I did change the name of my channel. I did do that, but I am who I am. I, mean, I don't know about NFT games and stuff like that. What's the percentage you pay taxes in crypto? So Rajesh, here in the United States, you have the taxes you pay when you sell are on your profits. And it depends on how long you have held on to that crypto. So if it's more than a year or less than a year. If it's less than a year, it's called a short-term capital gains tax. And you can probably pay between the federal tax and your state tax upwards of 35% or maybe like a third. So if you had $100,000 of profit, 33,000 of that is going to the government for taxes. So you only get to keep 66 of that thousand, of that 100,000 is all you get to keep. So you always got to think of that. That's a lot of money. Now, if you held at least for a year and then sold, then you probably save 15 to 20% of that tax by having a long-term capital gains. So maybe you only pay 15 to $20,000 out of that $100,000 profit, which I'm using as an example here. I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. So it's worth holding at least 12 months if you can. Here in the United States, that's how that works. I do not know who Penny Packs is. I don't know. Doge. So all you need to say is Doge. Does your yearly income also affect the tax? Yes, it does. It does. Um, there are certain differences based on your um, on how your overall capital gains adds into your salary. So you get your adjusted gross income because your adjusted gross income on the bottom of the first page of your 1040 form is where you go to the tax table to determine what your tax is. And that can play a difference in your overall tax. So it's not the same thing. That's why you usually use these ranges, right? like 15 to 20% or 30 to 35%, because it does depend on what your overall salary is. Uh, what happens if you hold for a year and then sell 90% of it? If you keep 10% of it, does that count if you buy more later? Sure. You just have to make sure that you have separated that 10% remaining and what date was where you bought that. So then when you buy newer ones, you know what those dates are. So then when you come to sell, usually it's first in, first out, right? The first crypto you buy is the first that you sell, which is how most people do it. I don't know why you would do it any different. Um, then, yeah, you have to keep track of that, that you only sell, sold 90% of that first bag. So you got to know that you still have that 10% of that earlier date. So when you buy more, you know the difference between what's short-term and long-term. The, the example that I show here is on our, um, bah, 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 bah. where is that? The Chris Pax Crypto Trades here. So this is an example of a spreadsheet. And this is the spreadsheet that we actually bought this portfolio, the CRISPAX DCA portfolio that has this 75,000 Doge. Well, I've got each 
purchase because we were DCAing. We were buying every three days. We were buying every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday DCAing Dogecoin back from the middle of July to October. Well, October, I just ended up just buying a big bag at the end at 5.88 cents. That was the, the remaining $835 of, uh, uh, of, of uh, cash I had before hitting that $10,000 limit that I was putting in there. So, so there's Doge that was purchased here all the way from July 14th to October 9th. So if I sold, right, if we sell this and we sell it on, let's say, September 30th, then all the doge, all of this doge here would be a long-term capital gains, but that doge that we didn't buy till October 9th would be a short-term capital gains, and you'd have it on a different location on your, on your forms, on your tax forms. You'd have to separate that, but that's this is how I keep track of all the purchases. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass every time you buy something to put it on a spreadsheet. There are some third party companies that are offering services. You attach your crypto wallet, but still not even if you've transferred that doge off an exchange into a wallet, that wallet doesn't know when you bought that. It's your responsibility to keep track of the crypto that you buy. That's your responsibility. So um, this is how I keep track of it. And so my whole, my whole portfolio that I have, I've got spreadsheets of all of my purchases. Yeah, it's a pain, but that's what I do. And I also have it broken out into which exchange I bought it on, even though I've since transferred a lot of it over to an Exodus wallet or a Ledger wallet, I still have it broken out on the um, in my spreadsheet based on which exchange I bought it from, just for my records. But yeah, so here's Bitcoin. We were buying from 30, 29K, 27K. We got some at 25. 25.5, that's a good buy right there. So that's when we were buying all of this. And it was like the Jasmine stuff was 0 0.00397, 0 0.00386, 0 0.00344. We were just buying little bits of Jasmine, DCA. So the overall portfolio is at $32,500. That's a profit of $22,500 or 225% profit right now. And I'm not even close to considering selling this because it's all going to go so much higher, I think. Which only helps you guys because the Dogecoin in here is what I'm giving to you guys. The 75,000 Doge I'm giving to you. I'm going to sell all of this other in here. I'll sell it for profit and I will send you guys the Dogecoin. But Dogecoin is now over 50% of the portfolio. <laughs> Look at that. It's now over 50%. That's how the Chris Pax portfolio is looking there. So what do you think, Jason? Looks good, doesn't it? But that's... Again, that was last summer when I was convinced we were at the bottom of the bear market for altcoins. I know Bitcoin, I mean, Bitcoin was at 25K. It was at 15K, you know, eight months earlier. But the altcoins didn't hit their lows until the summer of 23 for most of them. And so that's when we were buying. So that that's that's a pretty pretty nice portfolio there ten thousand dollars is what i put in and it's now at thirty two thousand five hundred what's the crazy number on doge in 20 to 30 years it all depends on adoption what it's being used for 
I would hate to think that there would continue to be this big rise and then huge fall in the price of Dogecoin because it's not actually being used. And that would give it this whole pump and dump kind of reputation that, yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Uh, so that would be cool if Doge gets adopted and then the adoption continues to grow. The Doge price goes up like over a dollar and it stays up there. That would be awesome. Some of you I know would love to see Doge go back down so you can buy in more at a low price. May not happen. May not happen. How many Doge were in circulation when it hit all time high at 75 cents per nap? I think it was like 130 billion. Uh, we can find that. I don't remember the exact way to get to history in coin market cap. I, I know I can do a Google search and I can say um, coin market cap. So I've done this search before and this will be May 2021. Okay, so we can do that. So here's the snapshot. We'll use May 9th. Dogecoin already started going down on that date. So the price is not going to be at 74 cents. I already know that. Here's Dogecoin. Look at that. It was the fourth largest cryptocurrency at a price of 57 cents. And here, 129 billion, 531 million. That was close. I was close on my guess. It was all just under 130 billion Doge then. But look at that. Dogecoin was above Cardano by a lot. Look at that market cap, $73 billion market cap for Doge. And this is May 9th. Doge was already starting to go down in price, was down to 57 cents, down 10% in 24 hours. So I guess we could go up here and we could look at it on the 8th, right? Yeah, 2021-05. 08. Yeah. Here's Doge at 63 cents. $82 billion market cap for Doge. Fourth largest cryptocurrency. There's a trip down memory lane, huh? We can go back another date. I think fourth was the highest it was, though. BNB was up at like $640 at the time. BNB was really up there. The seventh, yeah, 68 cent Dogecoin. And I don't know when they do the historical snapshot at what, what time of day, it wasn't the all time high, but yeah, $88 billion Dogecoin for market cap. Again, it was 129 billion in circulation. So today there is 143 billion Doge. So a lot more Doge. So it doesn't have to go to 74 cents to beat its previous all time high in market cap. It only needs to go to like 69 cents, something like that. What would you consider a new buy price for Doge? It depends on when you're able to buy. Look for the dips and just follow the market. Again, uh, the best strategy is to DCA, right? Buy little bits at a time and not try and wait in time like one big buy. You'll never time it right. You'll never get it right. So you buy a little at 21 cents. If it turns around and it just goes back up to 22 and then 23, then at least you got some at 21. But if you buy some at 21 and then it goes down to 20, you buy a little more at 20. That's the best way to do it. Yep, I am an architect. And still, still, still practicing, still working as an architect. 
So yeah, I have a job. I've got the 401k financially doing okay. And still trying to figure out how much longer I'm going to work. But a lot depends on the crypto market this next six to eight months, right? I could go for an early retirement and not have to work anymore. We'll see. But the job is nice because, I mean, it gives me the benefits. Right? I get paid to go on vacations. I'm still getting paid. I uh, get great health plan. Uh, I have a matching 401k. And I've been doing that for decades. So, and that all goes into a Vanguard 500 and a Russell 2000. I forget which the other one is. Um, and that's just been compounding and building for retirement. So I've got a pretty good nest egg. So the crypto that I'm, that I am uh, invested in is not my whole financial portfolio at all. I've got a big 401k plan uh, that I have been working on for a long time. And architecture, I got into architecture. I mean, since I was a kid, I was always drawing, loved buildings. And so went to college, got licensed, and I've been practicing in architect my whole career. Great job. Loved it. Not the best financially you don't get the best salaries being an architect, which is why I'm catching up now with this investing stuff later in my career to make up for being a cheap architect, I guess. Uh, but we did all right. You're welcome, Kid Wilson. Happy to, happy to help out. Yeesh. After seeing my spreadsheet, I hope BitMart has forms. I don't know what BitMart has. I don't know. Uh, you, you might want to start checking that out soon and, and documenting your purchases the best you can. Shafikula, which time is better to buy crypto? Beginning of the month or the end of the month? Doesn't matter. There's no pattern. You just have to look at the overall news that's going on. But there's no there's no direct beginning or end of the month kind of thing. Stock markets, you can you can do a little more with them because they're businesses and sometimes they do stuff at the end of quarters, uh, at the end of months, things like that, but not uh, not crypto. Yep, Jason, from 10K to 32K. And like I say, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. We have a new YouTube member, Kanja. Thank you for joining the channel. Appreciate that. Welcome. Yeah, we're a good family here, having a lot of fun. And Kanja also gets to use the fun new emojis as well. Awesome. Awesome. Um, oh, I got to read this, Mr. VTech Pickles. I have a crazy story. When I was younger, when Doge was at 003, I was able to sell my car and buy Doge with half of the money from that sale. I would have had an all time high. 19,500 pounds. Well, the would have had thing is like, yeah. <laughs> you still came out okay. All right. The amount of Dogecoin, it depends on your own financial situation, Gustavo. For some people, 10,000 Dogecoin is a lot. For some, 100,000 Dogecoin is a lot. For some, a million is a lot. We're all in different financial positions. So you just have to figure that out for based on your financial. Yes, I'm a renowned crypto analyst, according to whatever news article that was. Yep, renowned. 
uh, J is upgraded when you became a member and then you upgraded. That's what you did. Thanks, appreciate it. New members to the family. We're having fun. That's for sure. We are having fun. Uh, Doge Designer has some new tweets. Let's see what Doge Designer is tweeting. I love his stuff. Yeah, CB. X payments in 23 states now. X just secured money transmitter license in Louisiana. We covered that story already in this live stream. We talked about it. Yes. I think that's probably what you're talking about. X payments, 46% there. That's good. <laughs> it's coming, guys. It may not be Dogecoin on X right at the start. So that's the thing to keep in mind. And most likely it's not going to be Doge right at the start. So we have to we have to be aware of that. We have to be ready for that. You always want, wanted to be an architect, found it fun doing technical drawings. And it is, it's been a great career. Tim's an architect or an engineer. Hey, I work great with engineers. I've always had very good working relationships with my engineers because I work on some pretty complicated buildings and I need my structural engineer and I need my mechanical engineer to all think creatively on how to solve like really complex situations. So, yep, but the engineers follow me. I'm the architect. <laughs> Yeah, we showed the shorts chart earlier there, Jason. Uh, liquidation City on the Doge, $18 million over the past 24 hours. And look, even right now, I mean, look at Solana. These are all shorts. So Solana must be going up right now. I'm seeing a lot of Solana liquidations. I'm seeing Jitto. Here's a Bonk one. So, yeah, let's see what Solana is doing now. Yeah, see, Solana goes up like that. Liquidating shorts, love it. Solana just hit a price it hadn't seen in a while. Shorts getting liquidated. Love it. Love it. We don't like the shorters. We like to see them get liquidated again and again and again. Your doge turning around again, going to come back to 22 cents. Hey, for, for you guys thinking that Doge is going to drop down to some low price so you can buy in, uh, I don't know, guys. It's just not looking that way. It's just not looking that way. I mean, th th this is the trend line that's happening right now, and it's not going down. It, it's not going down. It's a short period of time, but it's like, we're not seeing big dippity doos here. So, <laughs> we're not mooning yet, but steady gains. Steady gains. That's what we're seeing. And that's why I came on on a Thursday. Now, I will be on again Friday at five o'clock. I will have a nice beverage celebrating the end of the work week because, like a lot of you guys, I work too. And I squeeze in like the videos and the live streams uh, when I can, especially now. Yeah, AWOL, we talked about my average just a little bit ago, but glad you can make it here right at the end because I'm about to sign off. Um, it's somewhere in the sixes. And I don't know exactly because again, all my Dogecoin is like all over the place. I bought some you know, from 2021 all the way to this year. Um, and I don't know what my overall average is because I bought them on different exchanges and I have them stored in different wallets. It's like all over the place. 
So I don't know what my average, my actual average is. Yeah, I, again, we don't know of, we don't know what, where this is, where this may um, dip to, but it looks like we're just getting back to 22 cents. Uh, we are going to follow up on this discussion Friday at five o'clock. So come join again. We will continue on Friday and maybe you guys can have a beverage too and we can share in that in some way. Uh, we'll see how this trading, right now Doge is just looking really strong right now. Um, is it gonna come back and, and retest this big green candle here? You know, and come down below 20.5? Right now, it's not acting like it. It's not acting like, it. that's why that white circle is here. It's because that was a big candle and it hasn't come back and retested that yet. So we wanted to stay in the purple box for the choppy trading going forward. That's what we'll be watching. Until then, I thought all of you have a great evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Until then, we'll see ya. A Dogecoin, which started as a complete joke, has like skyrocketed to not a joke anymore. It hit an all time high of almost 10 cents yesterday, but it was so minuscule, you wouldn't have understood why you have millions of shares. Didn't Elon tweet that too? And arguably, the most entertaining outcome and the most ironic outcome would be that Dogecoin becomes the, the currency of Earth in the future.